And ABC correspondent Lisa Miller is in The Hague and she joins us now. Hi there, Lisa. Can we uh, assume that uh, Melinda Taylor is still resting or, or has she been seen there at the ICC? No, and no need to assume either because I just literally minutes ago spoke to the ICC spokesman Fadi Al Abdullah just to check on what the situation was. He says that the ICC is letting her be at uh, rest and uh, enjoy the company of her family. So no sense at all that we'll hear from Melinda Taylor today or even over the next couple of days. The ICC, for all the talk of counselling and debriefing and inquiries, their main concern right at the moment is to let her spend some time with her husband Jeff and her daughter Yasmina. Now Melinda Taylor was in Libya as part of the ICC's defence team representing Saif al-Islam Gaddafi. Now of course the ICC want him tried in The Hague. Libya want him to go to, to face justice in Libya. Is the idea of him going to The Hague now going to prove more difficult as a result of this saga? Well, as you heard in Philippa's report, this is clearly a very sensitive moment for the relationship between the ICC and Libya. What the ICC is saying is that what went on with the detention of these four staff members is completely separate to this ongoing case that they want to develop against Saif al-Islam and that this situation with the employees, with the ICC staff has now been resolved. So they're putting that aside, wrapping it up in a little box and removing it from the landscape as they move towards trying to get Saif al-Islam uh, to face trial on uh, charges of crimes against humanity. But what they're also saying, Emma, and Ambassador Ritchie will probably be able to expand on this, is that Libya can continue with its criminal action against Saif al-Islam while the ICC is investigating its case. It's currently with the ICC judges to determine if there is enough cause for a case to go ahead in The Hague, uh, the Libyan authorities are arguing that their judicial system is adequate enough to try Saif al-Islam. So the ICC is saying, look, it's not mutually exclusive. Libya can continue with its court action, will continue investigating. But the minute that the ICC says, OK, we've got enough evidence, we've heard from prosecutors' defence and the uh, victims involved, and we decide we now need him, that's when the request the official request will go to Libya to surrender Saif al-Islam. So a long way to go in this, in this tale. Thanks so much, Lisa Miller there in The Hague.